Let's head down to the coin toss now. It's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste and zero calories. Enjoy everything. Both teams are on the field, and we're just about ready to open things up. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. He's into the open field. And now he pitches it. He's knocked out of bounds. Around the 36-yard line. Good solid running right there. Getting past the defensive lineman and into the secondary before he could be stopped. From their own 36-yard line. First down. Halfback's got it on the quick throw. Good open field tackle. Chains, you got a big time advantage over any defense. From the 40 yard line, it's first down. Here we go. Play fake. And he's hit immediately. What impresses me so much is the guy's vision. He read the coverage perfectly to find his man for good yardage. Runs it left for a decent game. So with that run, they pick up another first. Just a nice job again up front by the offensive line. They're doing a good job of neutralizing the defensive front. And it's allowed them to move the ball down the field. Strike to his receiver, no good. From the 28-yard line, second down. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. But you can really mess with an offense's game plan if you can take away their ability to run. And this is the eighth play of the drive. You know, at that point, I think, Brad, the quarterback's just better off just taking a sack. You have to be very careful as you're feeling pressure to throw the ball just to throw the ball. If you feel like you're not going to be able to make a play and the defense got you, just give up on that play and get ready for the next down. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. He's taken down around the 20-yard line. Unable to convert on fourth down, and the ball changes hands. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. And he throws right away. It's caught first down, and he's out of bounds. This receiving core runs some great routes, and that last play was an example of that. As a defender, it can be tough to match up sometimes. From their own 34-yard line, first down. 
Throws incomplete. He let that pass get away from him. I think he's a little bit anxious. He actually looked a little bit too juiced that time, but he'll get the next one. four-yard line. The quarterback and his receiver make a great play here and convert on an early down. It's third down, and they're about the length of the football away from the first down marker. Give to the tailback. Gets to about the 47-yard line. it out to about the 47 yard line. From their own 47 yard line, it's second down. Tackle at the 44. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 41. They'll make the sack. It looks like the defensive end that got in there. Yes, it was. He did a wonderful job of fighting off blocks to bring the quarterback down. Defense looking for another sack in the second down and long situation. Watch the run, watch the run. The quarterback in the gun with five receivers. Got his man, can't tack on any yardage. This is the 10th play of this drive. You know, this pass rush is sometimes scary. They're really getting after the quarterback now. The sack makes this a fourth and very long. He's going to aim this one to the sideline, try to kick it out of bounds. This punt goes over the goal line, and this will be a touchback. They've got to play with some focus and smarts here. They don't want to make a mistake and suddenly find themselves trailing. And he's immediately tackled. stop around the 47 yard line and that was just an outstanding pick great play by the defender to high point the ball but the quarterback wasn't in rhythm on the throw from the 47 yard line first down the 47 yard line so he decides to hold on to it and that's going nowhere in the shotgun and five wide outs fires quickly and he's got his man brought down in the open 
open field. That's a seven yard gain. Hey, they picked up a nice gain of seven yards on that play. Great pass. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Look at a scramble down. He can't get away from the pressure. I think that one's on the offensive line. They've got to do a better job of holding their blocks, or else this quarterback's going to be pulling turf out of his face mask all game. They look like they've got the block on, and this offensive line's got to give him some time. He really got a hold of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. You talk about our meetings this week with the defensive coordinators, Kirk, and this is what they were hoping for, that they can control the line of scrimmage. Well, these players must have been listening pretty intently because that's exactly what we've seen. These defenses have come out. They've controlled things early, trying to just set the tone. It's really going to be up to both of these offenses to try to make some adjustments and try to be able to come after them in some way. Throws complete. He's hammered. We played one quarter. This one's scoreless. Even first quarter as we head into quarter number two. He's scrambling. They bring the quarterback down. From their own 21-yard line, third down. Excellent series by this defense, forcing them to go three and out. And the offense really struggled on this drive. They're going to have to pick it up if they want to move the ball on these guys. Moore, back to return it. <laughs> Moore takes it to the 45, gets to about the 44-yard line. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum, so as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Bring to his receiver. He gets hit out of bounds. Right around the 36-yard line. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Complete big loss. Five yard loss on the play. This defense is fast enough that they can create negative yards on completed passes. So the offense might want to consider that next time they try that play. him to go three and out. Good job here defensively forcing this incomplete pass. Big kick here to try to pin the offense deep in their own territory. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. They've been like a couple of fighters feeling each other out so far. Let's see if they start to open it up a little bit more now. Tackled after a decent pickup. They're about four yards away here on second down. He's unable to hit his receiver. He overthrew it. Yeah, and that's a throw he should make every single time. That's a great tackle at the 36-yard line. We've got a first and ten. 
Ball on their own 36. third down here. So far this drive, the defense has been unable to stop them on third down. Tries to get out of trouble, but he can't shake the defense. You can't take sacks like that as a quarterback. He just can't. If you can't find a receiver, get out of the pocket and throw the ball away. He goes out of bounds at the 37. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. Right down at the 46-yard line. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. delay. He's tackled at the 49. Has some daylight. He's at the 40. Gains his way to the 39-yard line. First and ten, ball on the 39. Now he's scrambling. Now he's going to run and watch out. Knocked out of bounds at the 23. First and 10, ball on the 23-yard line. They come out of an empty backfield. And it's caught, and he's run down quickly. Wilson picks up about five yards on that hookup. Western Michigan will take a timeout. That's their first of the half. Runs outside for a nice game. Good run by the quarterback. The thing that impresses me is the decision-making. He sees an opening, decides to turn it upfield, and gets a nice gain in a first down. Here's a screen pass. Gets it to the back. He's knocked out of bounds at the seventh. And this play is number eight on the drive. tries to buy some time. Keeps it, and he's got a touchdown. Oh, that's a great 
great job of some tough running right there. When you get close to the end zone, things get very tight. And it's tough to maneuver. He makes the PAT. An eight-play, 63-yard drive. And they come away with seven points. So the score now, 7-0. They line up to kick this one away. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. I give the defense credit, but right now I think it's more a case of sloppy offense. Yeah, you got to recognize that both defenses have come into this game with the right mindset. They're very well prepared. But I'm with you. It's, it's one thing to have great defense. It's another thing when those defenses are going up against offenses that just are not clicking right now and hitting on all cylinders. There was some movement on the line. Sometimes what happens on a false start is a lineman will see movement on the other side of the ball and be coaxed into jumping early. So the penalty will make it first and 15. It's a big-time effort sacked by the defensive end. I want to also give some credit to the coverage downfield. The end never gave up on the play, but because the quarterback didn't have anywhere to go with the football, it gave the defensive end enough time to eventually chase the quarterback down for that sack. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. We got third and long here. All on their own 12. Taken down for a loss. Nice defensive stand there. And some good play calling defensively. They always had someone in the right spot to make a play and force the three and out. Moore is back to receive. Moore takes it at the 49. And he's taken down at the 44-yard line. They were lucky to prevent a big return there. Yep, that could have been big if he could have gotten a few more blocks and was able to find the seam. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Steps up and he's sacked for a loss. You have to keep an eye on this guy, especially during passing situations, because he does a great job of getting to the quarterback, as we saw right there. Western Michigan is up a score. Throws a bullet. You don't want to ever give your opponent a second chance. But that's exactly what they did by not making that interception. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 34. They come out in a five-wide set. He gets sacked on the play. Coaches don't like it when their quarterback gets hit like that. Won't we'll be surprised to see the old coach get on his lineman to protect the quarterback a little bit better. He fields the product of 16, and he's tackled at the 27. I think this defense has played well enough to be able to win this game, obviously. But at some point, you'd love to see their own offense feed off of some of the confidence that their defense is playing with. Because up to this point, the defense is keeping them in the game, but the offense isn't quite doing enough to be able to build on that lead. Tackle around the 28-yard line. They need to do a better job of managing the clock here. You're right, Fred. Not only was that a horrible play in terms of yards picked up, but also, as you mentioned, in terms of all the time that may be wasted. From their own 28-yard line. Second down. He gets rid of this one. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. He's taken down around the 36-yard line. Brad, looking at this play selection and the result of the play, I think the offensive coordinator is trying to just pick up as many yards as they can to set up possibly a punt to see if they can change field position with a big-time punt by the special team. Low-scoring first half of play, but a close game. Western Michigan in front, 7-0. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites.
Reese Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. Those big fellas on the offensive line, they always think they don't get enough credit. They say we never give them any love in the studio. Love. And we're giving them some, but we're going to give a little bit some. to the quarterback, too. Just, just some, huh? Just some. Okay. I, look, they're doing a great job up front, David. But I, I think the quarterback also is doing a great job at getting rid of the football and, and really just playing the game very wisely. He's managing the game wisely. Yeah. There's, you don't get sacks when you throw the football away, which is smart. And, and also just feeling where the rush is coming from and being able to step up into the pocket, deliver a nice strike. How about, too, when... When guys are coming to get you and they, they get their paws on you, but you slip out of the play and you end up making a big play down the field. So, yeah, the linemen don't get enough credit, but also those quarterbacks, they can make those O-linemen look pretty good sometimes. Just about time to get you back out for the second half. Brad and Kirk will be along in just a second. You're looking forward to keeping an eye on everything around the country here. Got a good, a lot of good game score. We're locked and loaded. We got all the big screens going. You're going to be looking to hand out some helmet stickers later. We loaded, man. I'll try. You think you can keep on your shoes in the second half? I'll try to. They stinky? Yes. Brad and Kirk, you're at a safe distance. Take it away. Welcome back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. From his own goal line, he's to the 20. And down he goes at the 29-yard line for Northern Illinois. They've been getting into the backfield quite a bit. This defense has been bringing the blitz and is having success getting to him. This offense hasn't done a good job of moving the ball either. Well, when your overall average is less than four yards of play, that's the definition of struggling. This defense has stepped up to the plate against a very tough opponent. But the question remains, is it going to be enough to pull off an upset? And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. Western Michigan up seven points. Going deep. Almost picked off. From their own 29-yard line, it's second down. Makes it out to about the 39. E, e, e. Let's set a tone, fellas. Let's set a tone. Give it off here, and they'll bring him down behind the line. From their own 39 yard line, it's second down. Gets out to around the 48. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Here's a running play. And he's tackled after positive yardage. First down, 10 to go. Ball in the 47. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Roger, Roger. Western Michigan is up by a touchdown. Quick throw. They'll bring him down at the 30. This is the eighth play of this drive. In the shotgun and five wideouts. Gets it quickly to the tight end, but it's dropped. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 30-yard line. And he's taken down right around the 30. This is the 10th play of this drive. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. Roger, 
from the 19-yard line. It's first down. Just throws this one away. And this is the 12th play of the drive. After a nice run up the middle. They've looked good so far on third down on this drive. Let's see what happens here. Scrambling around. And they make the stop around the two-yard line. And this is the 14th play of the drive. Western Michigan is up seven. Touchdown, Western Michigan. It takes a lot of strength to run it when you're heading into a massive pile of bodies. Good job of holding on to it and getting it across the goal line. Converts the extra point. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He'll return it from the one. He's taken down at the 26. The Broncos continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Here they come. That's a great tackle at the 21. Second and long. Ball on the 21. He scrambled. And he's tackled around the 25-yard line. Deep to return the punt. <laughs> Moore fields up the 30. He's tackled at the 44. The Broncos aren't easing back, that's for sure. They're not content to sit on the lead they had. No, I think they're continuing to go out and execute, try to extend this lead, and just playing overall is much better here in the second half. They ran the ball very well on their last drive, and it resulted in six. down now and they need to get it inside the 46. Throws quick to the receiver and it falls incomplete. So that'll make it fourth down. The offense really had nowhere to go on that one. The play was very well defended and now the incompletion will force the fourth down in a punt. Doesn't look like he's going to have much time to get rid of this punt. 
He puts it away, and it's a great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. This defense has everything. They kind of have that blue-collar, workman-like approach, but they also have a blend of tremendous speed to go along with that work ethic. And the better they play, they seem to feed off of it, and it continues throughout the whole ballgame. Nice run to the outside. They're about four yards away here on second down. Throws it in a hurry. He's tackled right around the 42-yard line. Quarterbacks just love this scenario. He had his man one-on-one -on, -one on a corner route versus man coverage, and you just saw it. It results in an easy first down. the outside so it's second down now and they need about four yards to pick up the first so at the end of the third quarter Western Michigan in front 14 nothing Welcome back to the action hey, here as we up. resume play here in quarter number four. Hey, Mike 20, Mike 20. Ready. Check, check. Stand up. Go, go, go. Takes a handoff, tackle for a loss. From their own 47 yard line, third down. Midfield. some great yardage through the air. Let's see if the third time's a charm down here in the red zone. And he makes it out to about the eight-yard line. And this play is number eight on the drive. He fights forward to about the seven. From the seven yard line, man, man, man. it's third down. Three down, three down. Mike 20, Mike 20, Mike 20. Ready! Check, check! 200 check! 200 check! Finds a man! Touchdown! Stepped up and threw a touchdown pass to his wideout. Yep, good job of protection, and the quarterback spotted his man. And he adds the extra point. Northern Illinois ready to kick this one off. Moore from the two. Brought down at the 27 yard line. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Western Michigan is up a score. Quick strike to the receiver. Steps out of bounds at the 31. 
Second down and six. Ball on their own 31. hit immediately. Kirk, he's really got a lot of confidence in his receivers. Yeah, I think he does, but in this case, I think he just threw it up for grabs. He thinks his receiver can make the catch no matter how many guys are hanging on his back. kind of put pressure on the quarterback and challenged him to find the hole in the defense and in this case he did nice job so it's second down and about two yards to go here comes the pressure throws this one out to the left Pulls it in, first down, and he's knocked out of bounds. A nice-looking play that time. Well, the defense was blitzing here, and again, great recognition by the quarterback to find the hot receiver. Second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Western Michigan up seven points. from the five. They're knocking on the door. scrambling and he can't get away from the pressure you can't take sacks like that as a quarterback he just can't if you can't find a receiver get out of the pocket and throw the ball away tackled after a decent pickup nice gain of around seven yards on that delay the defense backed up into their own end zone it's third and goal from the one Touchdown, Broncos! Well, that touchdown should just about ice this one. And he tacks on the extra point. A nine-play, 73-yard drive. And they add seven points to the scoreboard. You know, Brad, a lot of times you have to watch practice and watch a seven-on-seven -seven drill to not see the ball touch the ground. This time, they went the entire length of the field. The ball never touched the ground. Great execution by the quarterback and the receiver. And down he goes at the 20-yard line. That's where you fly to the ball. They did a great job on their last drive, moving the ball down the field for a touchdown. Let's see if they can duplicate that on this drive. Just under two minutes in the game. Quick throw, almost intercepted. The defensive coordinator did a great job with the play call there. He put his defense and alignment in a position to be able to make a play on the football. Everything worked perfectly. They just dropped the football. Boy, the offense caught a break there. And man can't tack on any yardage. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. And he 
and hits him hard at the 36 yard line. From their own 36 yard line. It's second down. Hey, Mike 20, Mike 20. Let's go! There's a strike complete. He's down. Check, check. 98 Weasel. 98 Weasel. Throws to the receiver. Incomplete. Two times, two times. There's a missed tackle. And they get nice yardage on that run. Boy, was he drilled as he let go of that football. Yeah, he's going to feel that one tomorrow. This is the ninth play of this drive. We have less than a minute to go. He heaves it deep. He's got his receiver with nobody around him. He's taken down at the seven-yard line. receiver and he can't make the grab. Here's the 11th play of the drive. And they get the sack. Yard line. And he is drilled at the one yard line. Not sure that touchdown on their last possessions given them some confidence, but let's see if that carries them back down the field. Well, I think this defense has got to do something because right now the quarterback is in such a good rhythm that you've got to do something to try to get him out of it. I would suggest trying to bring more pressure. Try to come up with an exotic blitz look to try to get him on his heels as opposed to being the aggressor and attacking the defense. Tyler gets another carry. Nice run there. And this one comes to an end. Our final count in this game, 21-7, Bronco. That does it for this edition of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.